Audi TT Mark 1 fixing the roof close sensor. Hi all and welcome back to the channel where this evening's task is actually a request that came in via the comments just a couple of weeks ago and that request came in from Tom at Tacoma S so thanks for sending that in Tom. So that issue or problem that Tom sent in is actually how to fix the roof close sensor switch on the convertible Audi TT. Now as you've probably seen recently I have just replaced the hood and when I came to shut that hood it had this problem. In fact the old hood had this problem as well and there's a light that illuminates on the dashboard telling you the hood's not closed even when you've physically got that hood closed. When I first saw it I was a bit concerned, gave the closed mechanism a little whack, light went off. All good I thought. However that only worked a couple of times so I did some investigating. This evening I'm going to show you where the sensor is, how this problem presents itself and what you can do to remedy it. Jumping in the car and unlocking the hood handle at the front, immediately you will see the orange warning light on the dash. This is to tell you that the roof is not fully locked and engaged and driving it around while not fully up or down will no doubt end in some sort of aerodynamic disaster. So activate the raise and lower switch to put the hood all the way down. To close the hood, repeat the process. You will notice the glass wind deflector goes down and the window is both slightly lower. Re-engage the hood handle. The window should go up and this light should go out. If it does not, you likely have an issue with the roof sensor. So when you call for the roof to close and you turn that handle and the light goes out, what's actually happening? First of all, when you turn that handle, there's a hook on either side of the roof that engages at the top of the windscreen here. If I turn the handle, you can see those hooks are moving. And essentially, there's a bar on the top of the windscreen here, and this hook's underneath, and holds it nice and secure. But how does the car know the roof is closed? Well, over here, on the passenger side of a UK car, or the driver's side on a Continental or American car, there is a small switch. The way the sensor knows that the roof is firmly closed is when the hook has engaged under the metal bar, it touches this micro switch or relay, which forces the switch to close, it makes contact, and by it making contact, the light knows the hood is closed and the light goes out. However, what happens? This micro switch, over time, it bends. So it no longer makes contact when you engage the hood. Because no contact is made by the micro switch, the light stays on. There are potentially three options here to fix the micro switch. One, you could buy a new micro switch. It's not an actual problem with the micro switch, it's just it's not making a very good contact. So that's a bit overkill. Your second option is to bend the micro switch or relay into position if it looks out of shape. It might be a case of it's bent with time, you just need to bend it back out. Or thirdly, mine didn't look bent. Obviously I've had a new roof, which is a slightly different shape I expect in one of these components, not making a good enough contact. So instead, I cut a credit card to the right thickness and length, and I super glued it to the top of the micro switch. By doing so, I've increased the thickness of the micro switch, so when the hook engages, the switch is actually pushed over further, which makes a better connection, and the light goes out. I was a little bit dubious about doing this, I have to say but it works great. It's cost me nothing. It's a simple, quick and cheap fix. So I hope that helps you out there if you're having problems with your roof micro switch when you're trying to close it and the light's staying on. I hope you found that short video on the micro switch for the closing of the roof helpful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of other Audi TT tutorials, which I'm adding to all the time. Once again, Thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.